Advocates gathered outside the state capitol Wednesday to urge lawmakers to pass a package of series of sentencing reform bills. New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein hears from them about why they are pushing for these pieces of legislation. Communities are cages! Communities are cages! Communities are cages! Advocates pushing for sentencing reform gathered outside the Capitol today to call on lawmakers to pass three bills that were introduced in last year's legislative session, the Eliminate Mandatory Minimums Act, the Second Looked Act, and the Earned Time Act. And for many, these bills are personal. Michael Capers was incarcerated at the age of 16 and spent 12 years in prison. He says he tried to get to rewrite his history, but he wishes there would have been legislation like the Earned Time Act to help him. People are going to be able to earn their way out of prison like, by, by educating themselves. And education is like the most formidable tool um, for, for rehabilitation. Advocates emphasize today that these bills will help provide better rehabilitative services for incarcerated individuals and ultimately give them hope. Rally participant Gordon Davis was also incarcerated at the age of 16. He served 25 years in prison and is now 43 years old. Like Capers, he says he also wishes he would have had the advantage of bills like the Earned Time Act that essentially provides time allowances against an incarcerated person's term or their maximum term. It will guarantee then that people will not only work harder, but they'll make sure that they stay out of trouble because they want this good time, they want to go home. The other bills in the legislative package intend to eliminate mandatory minimum sentences and allow judges to review excessive sentences. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.